Nurse TV, brought to you by HESTA and the Australian Nursing Federation. The candidate score central venous catheters. Like most adult patients, most children, when they admit to the hospital at some stage, they will require a small plastic catheter inserted into a small vein to give either fluid or medications. However, some of the medications and fluid can be irritating to the small veins and the tissue. Because of that, we use a larger catheter called central venous catheter and we insert it into a larger vein which is closer to the heart. While there is a lot of benefit uh, um, of this catheter, however, because of the size and the location of the catheters, it does associate it with a higher risk of infections and blood clotting. And my research is to investigating to find the most effective um, way of managing this central cate venous catheter to reduce the complication associated in the use of these catheters. My research on central venous catheter is about uh, helping a patient like Ainsley. She had a central venous catheter going to her heart and this catheter allowed us to give many many drugs to her that she required during this her stay in the intensive care unit at the Royal Children's Hospital. Without this catheter, it will be very, very detrimental to Ainsley. That's why my research is about to improve the care of this, uh, management of this central venous catheter so that she will not have infections and she do not require antibiotic cover and all this. There's two stages. One is when I was doing my master degree. That one is a, a systematic review to find the best evidence around the world for the, uh, for the management of this catheter. Another one is I did at Children's Hospital, which was a 12-month project. We collected all the data on the catheters to find out the infection rate and the blood clotting uh, rate in this hospital. A central venous catheter is a little plastic device that inserted into a larger vein in the in our body, most of the time, this larger vein, the tip of the catheter, is either situation situated within the upper body or the abdomen. That's why it's a central venous catheter. It is different from a peripheral catheter, which most of people will understand. It only inserted into a smaller vein, and the the tip of the catheter stays in a small vein, and it doesn't reach the heart or the or the big um, vessel in the body. The central venous catheter has become more and more commonly used in every hospital in both adult and pediatric populations. When I look at the literature, there's no other people doing the systematic review in the children. And I think I'm the first one who did that research. Um, I hope to publish soon. At the moment, I'm in the process of writing it up. I only got a little bit more to write and hopefully it will be published. And one of the reasons you ask why is it so popular partly because I speak in a few conferences and, and I also communicate with the rest of the nurses around the world. I understand that one of the, my recommendations in my research, in my study done in the initial period, um, I understand that the medical staff at the intensive care unit here are interested in looking into the one that I recommended, the method that we should use. This baby had a central venous catheter and it's a double lumen character mm -hmm. and it's size 5 character. Yep. It was inserted two days ago. I felt that by doing this research, I um, had enough of knowledge to teach the rest of staff and in, in the how to care of these patients. And um, this in turn, it will improve the patient care and subsequently I will feel good because of that. I think the staff are more conscious of it when we are doing the research that time. I'm not only doing research, I did education at the same time. And this research showed that by doing, using the same method to care for these type of characters, as well as education, it does improve the infection rate. And I, I understand that the staff, are more, staff in this hospital are more aware of how we should manage these type of characters. So it, it is beneficial. We hope that in the near future we are going to do another study to see which is the best me method to reduce the infection rate. This will be 
uh, beneficial to the children in this hospital because by finding out the best way it will reduce the infection rate uh, this in turn will reduce the hospital staying rate and which is good for the parents as well as the children. Working in the intensive care unit can be depressing however there are times it can be rewarding. Patient like Ainsley we can see her getting better and better and the most rewarding part is seeing her improving each day and the smile at the parents' place. It is um, a tough process to study part-time and working full-time as a nurse, especially at that time. I was working um, in a very responsible role, as well as working night shift and day shift and all the rotating shift. It is really hard. And um, I would advise the people that want to do study, perhaps they should cut down their working hours if financially they can afford it. But at the end, I, the reward is there, especially if you can apply to the clinical setting, the way you work.